course, it's a busy weekend here in East Tennessee, and this is just one of the events in today's Ten About Town. You can catch a Jimmy Buffett cover band at tonight's concert on the square. The free music series runs through the end of August in Market Square in downtown. More than 100 Tennessee wines and ciders will be at Milton Lake Park in Oak Ridge this weekend for the Nine Lakes Wine Festival. You can talk with local winemakers, enjoy live music, and the waterfront view of the lake. The Concert on the Commons Outdoor Music Series will fill your Friday night with live music at the Norris Commons. Bring a lawn chair or a blanket. The music begins at 7 p.m. Watch The Goonies inside a cool dark cave during the Movies in the Cave series at Cherokee Caverns. There are several showings on Friday and Saturday. Tickets are $10. Tennessee is turning 223 years old. Statehood Day celebrates the state's admission into the Union. Museums will offer free admission and several historic sites have tours and other events on Saturday. Head to Harriman for another weekend of the Tennessee Medieval Fair. Sword fighting, chess, knights in shining armor, you'll find it all. The festival is open from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday and Sunday. The Second Harvest Music Feeds concert series is back for another year of live music at the amphitheater at World's Fair Park. This Saturday, the band Here Comes the Mummies is performing at 7.30 p.m. The Lenore City Arts and Crafts Festival is Saturday and Sunday. Nearly 200 artists and crafters will be set up along the waterfront from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturday and 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Sunday. It's free, but a $3 donation is encouraged. Throw on some tacky golfer gear and head to the Old City for the putt and crawl on Sunday at 2 p.m. The putt-putt pub crawl will take golfers to six different locations where they'll swing for a chance to win prizes from local businesses. It costs $10 to play. For more info on these and other events, head over to our website or pick up a copy of this week's Go Knoxville magazine, your things-to-do guide brought to you by the Knoxville News Sentinel.